Hey guys, I went to turn on DoorDash and for me, usually I can just dash now. I can get on, it's easy. Um, I can't even get on DoorDash right now. It is completely grayed out and I'm like, okay. And it's about to be five o'clock, you know, dinner starts about five o'clock and granted, sometimes people are ordering later. So I go over to Grubhub and lately, like I've said, I've been grabbing a schedule for Grubhub. I can't even grab a schedule. There's no schedules available. So I toggled it on. Went over to Uber Eats, turned on Uber Eats, went over to Spark, turn on a spark and it has been silent completely silent and i'm like okay it's about to be dinner time what's going on now granted sometimes people order later but you know at least send me an offer so i can you know decline it or accept it i'm not even getting anything to decline it is just pure silence from all four apps let me know how things have been going for you guys you know some days are like this and i guess it's one of those days so i'm hoping something will come in i'm like are the apps even working right now they have to be you know all four is on it just must be dead right now so hopefully people will order soon we're gonna find out how long it takes me to get an order or something to at least decline so i'm just hanging out right now as soon as i get something i will let you guys know all right guys the apps have still been super super quiet for about 15 minutes i double checked grubhub to see if maybe a schedule came up it looks like maybe somebody dropped one because there was one slot available so i took it so i have a schedule with grubhub but they haven't given me anything checked DoorDash and I went to schedule and I was able to get on so I am on DoorDash now I did end up declining two offers one from Uber Eats three dollars sixty five cents for four point seven miles that's an absolute no and then DoorDash gave me an order it was for nine dollars for Popeyes sounds good right but not for nine point seven miles it was gonna take me in another area those miles are just too far for me I don't want to go all the way out there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a spin sometimes that helps um, but it is just super super quiet um, hopefully people will start ordering soon like I said sometimes they start ordering a little bit later but for it being this quiet and really no offers coming in um, yeah it's just quiet i'm like what is going on i guess people just aren't ordering right now but hopefully they'll start ordering a little bit later like i said it's just one of those days i'm gonna take a spin see what i can get all right guys the drive worked i finally got an offer for uber eats nine dollars fifty cents for 2.8 miles now it took me about 30 minutes to get a reasonable offer and like i said it has just been really quiet declined a couple of offers and finally got this offer now of course it's ideal to take orders from your home if you can that way you're not as some of you guys say starting up your car and coming out here and wasting gas and wasting time it's always better to try to get an order from your home if possible uh, but sometimes you still have to go out and kind of take a spin and, and just see you know if you need to to make some money you know because I've had to do that it's quiet at home and then I go out and I drive to where my restaurants are and then order comes in so sometimes you just never know but <laughs> we got an offer I'm going in and it's for Red Robin hopefully it's ready Thank you. Um, you guys prefer a order with you for that name for Uber Eats. Oh, Fabulous. it's right there. Perfect. Drinks with that as well. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Perfect. Thank you. Got to the order, it was ready, which is always nice, especially for Red Robin. Now this particular Red Robin, I do not get very good service here. Grubhub's upset because I picked up a schedule. They keep sending me notifications saying you're not able to receive offers right now. Check your network connectivity. I know I have really bad service, I gotta get out of here. And then the other thing is, it's saying the customer's five minutes, zero feet, but it looks like it's having trouble like, you know, loading it. So we're gonna pull out of here and hopefully the GPS will load that's another issue that I have with this red robin the GPS won't load and so I have to take my best guess and hopefully I'm heading in the right direction hopefully by the time I pull out of the parking lot it will connect itself but sometimes it doesn't so we're gonna go get this order dropped off hopefully the orders will start coming in
Smooth drop off for the Red Robin order was a house which always makes it pretty much super easy and straightforward typically. So I get out of the neighborhood, I'm driving down the road, a Grubhub brings me in an order. Two miles for $6.23 for McDonald's. I am here right now. I'm gonna go in there and uh, hopefully the order's close to being done. Uh, yeah, last four two two five three. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Went inside McDonald's. I was waiting behind another driver and I got my order really quick. She called Grubhub and sure enough, it was mine. Uh, it seems like the restaurants are moving probably because it's a slower night, um, which is always good. Now, the only issue here is I am back in the same area where I was earlier where the Red Robin is and my service is really bad here. Grubhub is saying it looks like you're offline because I put got order and I'm trying to get the GPS to drop off the customer's order and it is not registering so i'm gonna have to drive out to the main road again and last time when i drove out on the main road for the red robin order luckily i picked the correct way to go because sometimes you just don't know it was a lucky guess so it worked out so uh, i guess we're gonna be playing this game again i'm gonna go out to the road and hopefully uh i picked the right way to go so we're gonna um go out to the main road and hopefully the gps will correct itself eventually So for the McDonald's order, when I pulled out from McDonald's, I ended up going the wrong way. GPS finally corrected itself, had to turn around, um, but they weren't too far down the road. They were actually in the same neighborhood where I dropped the Red Robin off at, but it was one of those houses to where the GPS tries to take you behind the house to the garage. So I kind of had to put it together and navigate around to the front of the house. But other than that, it was a smooth drop off, except for the GPS not wanting to load and then a GPS trying to take me behind the garage. So after I dropped that order off, it was just super quiet for like 10 minutes. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm just going to have to go home. I finally got something, an offer that you just can't refuse. I don't even got to think twice about it. A really good offer from Uber Eats, $18.21 for 2.2 miles for Chick-fil-A. I am here right now hoping that the order's ready. So far, the orders have been ready when I show up. So hopefully Hopefully that's the case, um, but this is a really good one. So we're gonna go in and uh, grab this order. Hello. Uh, Eric M. Is it? Okay, I don't know. I thought I, I did a quick count, but so this is, you guys probably have a better look. So we have it right here. So we got okay. the frosted lemonade, the rest of the shakes, and then we got, oh, it probably just looks like more, but because of these weird things, but they are individually just two diet lemonades or two Okay, they're not, what's this? Three, three, oh, that's like small. Oh. So that's like them asking to add extra stuff in here, which we already did. Okay. But like the main items are there. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, then yeah. we're good to go. Of course. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. You have a great day. You too. Order was pretty much ready when I went in there. The drinks were sitting on the counter and I kind of always, like I said, take a quick peek because restaurants will forget the drinks. And I had counted seven, but I obviously miscounted. Um, there are six drinks, but luckily I was paying attention just to be on the safe side because you just never know. So I got all their drinks. Looks like they're having themselves a good night with some milkshakes um, and a lot of food. It's a big bag of food. So, so all is well. I got all the food ready to go. It sounds like it's been a slower night for Chick-fil-A as well. Well, the girl was really kind to help me carry the drinks out because there was two things of drinks and the big bag of food told her I was gonna come back but she's like oh I can you know if your car's right out front I can come out there which was really nice of her so customer is two minutes 0.4 miles down the road they are really close this is a perfect order now it does say in the notes to leave at door but do not ring or knock which I won't I usually don't unless specified or maybe it's like pouring down rain or something I don't want their food to get wet there's nowhere safe to put it then I will ring or knock and hand it to the customer. So for this order, I'll just leave it by the door and take a picture as usual. We're on our way.
Now that was a perfect order. Order was ready. Customers right down the road. Miles were good. Pay was good. Drop off was good. Everything went smooth. My kind of order. So I haven't got anything else. It's just one of those nights. It comes with the territory. Some days are good and some days are not so good. And it's just one of those nights. So I am going to go home. Of course, if I get an offer to pull me out of the house, then I will take it. But I'm not going to sit around and wait for an order. That's why you always got to have a backup plan if things get really slow. So I'm going to head home and we'll leave you guys right here. So appreciate you guys riding along with me as always. And of course, if you guys enjoyed the ride along, please do give the video a like, consider subscribing. If you haven't already, ring the bell so you don't miss on any future videos. And I will be seeing you guys on the next one. Bye guys.